What's up guys, welcome to Supercars of London. The last time that we were at this location, I had my Iron Man Audi R8, and we went through some of the running costs of that specific car. Now, since I've got this Lamborghini, a lot of you guys have asked me, what are the running costs of this car? So over the last three months, I've been tallying up all of the pennies and pounds that I've been spending on the car, and this is the video of the running costs of my 2011 Lamborghini Gallardo LP560 in true blood. So we'll start here at the fuel cap where I spend a lot of my time just standing here like this, spending quite a lot of money actually. This car takes around 85 litres of fuel. And at the moment in the UK, the current prices are around one pound five P. I think that's probably the best way. So this car costs around 95 to 100 pounds to fill up from empty all the way to full. But it actually lasts quite a long time. As you would have seen um, driving down to Monaco, this car, with the Army Tricks exhaust and the valve shut was the most fuel efficient car that we had there. The Porsche came in GT4 and also the Jaguar F type of Sam and Tim's didn't compare to this car. So this is actually relatively fuel efficient. So putting around 100 pounds in this car, you will get around 450 miles range but that also varies depending whether you're driving it in London it's probably going to be about 150 because I'll have the valves on and hearing the echo from all of the buildings and stuff so with the valve shut though on long motorway journeys it does get around 400 miles which is actually really good and not far off the Audi R8 performance as well so GAD tuning and Army Tricks combined have created a fuel efficient Lamborghini which is one of my most favorite subjects. I talk about it all of the time, and I play little games with myself on MPG, but that's just me, I'm weird. So next on the list is the big 5.2 litre V10 engine that needs to be serviced every year or every 10,000 miles, whichever comes first. And obviously this being a Lamborghini, you need to take it to Lamborghini. So just before I bought this car, luckily, I didn't have this cost to deal with. It's around 1,200 pounds for a minimum service. That's the minimum cost that it's going to be. But then there's obviously lists as the year goes on and you drive it and you put miles on the car, little teething problems that happen. Because this car is Italian built, you never know what could go wrong. So touch wood, everything is gonna be fine for when it comes to the next service. Like any car, you have to service the car, change the oil, change the filters, and making sure that the car is running as perfectly as possible for the UK roads, so that the emissions and all of the other stuff fit into the EU regulations and all of that boring stuff that I don't want to talk to you about today. But I reckon on average, a servicing cost is gonna be around 1,500 pounds to 2,000 pounds and split that up Divide it by 12 so you get the monthly cost, works out about 150 quid. So the next cost is the Army Tricks exhaust system. Now, like the R8, I've had the back box replaced from the stock to the titanium cross pipe, as, uh, as Army Tricks do for these cars. But what I've also had done is the Army Tricks headers and pipes to the back box. So I've got the full Army Tricks system from here all the way into the underneath of the engine. And as you saw, it was a massive, massive job. SB Race Engineering had to take the engine out just to put the headers back onto the car. So it was a huge job. It took two days and the costs are astronomical. And of course, with an exhaust system like this that is so specifically made with amazing... Oh, look at that. Ford Mexico. Bit of a beast. Sick. Now in the Audi R8, the exhaust system costs around five and a half thousand pounds because of the titanium materials used and the way that Army Tricks develop it, the Valvetronic system, it is an expensive system. However, because Army Tricks sponsored the Supercars of London YouTube channel, they've been able to give me a very favorable discount. And this, as a retail, this exhaust system, even though it's a one-off because it's the first and last full Army Tricks exhaust system that they've done, they're not gonna do headers and decap pipes again. This would cost someone $14,000 which I think today's current exchange rate is around eight and a half to 9,000 pounds, which is mind blowing. And I suppose you've got to be pretty crazy, but you do get a fantastic sound, you get great technology, you get an iPhone app and you can change it and you can track a lot of stuff. Army Tricks have absolutely nailed it with this exhaust system, as you would have seen from previous videos, but it is a massively, massively expensive modification. It is completely reversible back to stock. The one cost that I really didn't foresee was the fitting cost and the labor for two days getting the Lamborghini engine out, which cost around 13 to 1400 pounds. Um, so 
that is definitely probably my most expensive cost that I've had on the car since ownership in the three months army tricks and SB race engineering combining to create this absolute animal so my first visit to dub customs and gad tuning on my car when it was white and i put those stupid r8 wheels on was to change the tires and get a new remap i reckon using my old tires that i had on before which were the p pirelli p0 tires i wouldn't have created these tire marks it was so flat and so slick with no grip whatsoever and no tire tread that i probably wouldn't have done any of these tire marks. But now that I have got the new Michelin Super Sport Pilot tires, Super Sport Pilot tires, let me just read it. Now that I've got the Michelin Pilot Super Sport tires on the car, this car handles like an absolute dream and really puts the power down, which you may have seen when I took out uh, the competition winners at the Supercars of London Clothing Black Friday Lamborghini Competition Challenge winner. I'm getting quite good at saying that now. Um, but these brand new Michelin tires obviously come at a cost and they're around 1200 to 1800 quid and if you want to divide that by 12 and have a monthly cost it's around 100 to 120 pounds. They are expensive but they obviously do a massive job and are super important with this car. You need good tires all of the time. You need to change them all at the same time because it's four wheel drive. If you've got... Back again. <laughs> that is a beast. <laughs> Um, you have to change the tyres at the same time, obviously, because it's four-wheel drive and you start mucking around different brands and stuff like that, you're going to have different tyre tread, you're going to have, it's just not going to handle how this car is built to handle, so tyres are a massively, massively important factor and one that I touched upon as well in the hidden costs of a European road trip. Now, when buying any car and to get behind the wheel and to be legal in the UK and probably anywhere in the world, you need to have car insurance. Now, here in the UK, the way that it works is you insure your yourself on a specific car so I've got insurance on my Audi and also the Lamborghini in other countries it works as you insure the car and then anyone can drive it but in the UK it works quite complicated but anyway to get behind the wheel of this car it's a 5.2 litre V10 and it's a 2011 there's a lot of things that weigh up how much car insurance is going to cost when i had the r8 i was obviously younger the car was older it wasn't as valuable as this car and it was slightly less powered however the r8 insurance came out around 1500 quid for the year which is a fantastic price and i really wasn't expecting to get that sort of price i've actually had quotes on the v12 6.5 litre lp 640 for about 12 grand so to drive that car for a year, the big Merchinago V12, 12,000 pounds when I was 23. Now that I'm 24, nearly turning 25, my insurance company's like, maybe you're quite sensible behind the wheel. I hope it doesn't watch my YouTube videos. But anyway, um, this car to insure is between two and a half thousand and three and a half thousand pounds. So it is expensive, and I know that it's expensive, but at 24 years old, to be able to drive this car is an absolute dream. So when you then want to divide that into a monthly cost, it comes out at just under 300 quid a month, which of course is a lot of money. Um, but to be driving this car, again, smiles per gallon, smiles per mile. Anyway, this car is a fantastic car to drive. Insurance is an absolute necessity, like with the RA, and this it is a cost that you have to consider, and it is a cost that you need to put money aside, save up, so that you can get insured on this car, so that you can drive it on the roads and have a lot of fun. And the final big, big cost, obviously, in this car is actually quite a recent one. As you can see, the car is no longer white, and uh, Dub Customs have done an absolutely fantastic job in wrapping this car, both on the door shuts, all over the car, there's a big, big video of all of the details and stuff, including how they wrap my key to match my car. And if you want to go to Dub Customs and get something similar, it's going to be around two and a half to three grand. And that is because the labor takes around three to four days to get this car looking how this car looks. And it's actually quite small and they haven't wrapped the roof. The materials obviously vary. Chrome can be as much as 50 to 90 pounds a meter, and then you'll probably need about 20 meters to wrap this car. So if you want to wrap this car in chrome, you're going to be looking at like five grand, including all of the label, because it's very, very difficult to uh, wrap as well and actually heat up. I'm no expert in wrapping, but I have heard that chrome is very, very difficult and um, hard to maintain. But this car looks absolutely beautiful, completely blown away with the job that Dove Customs have done. And I personally think it is well worth the money to change the, to change the color of the car for one, but also protect the paint, which is so vital. When it comes to resale, you're going to have to make sure that your car is pretty much spotless. 
No one wants to buy a car with stone chips on it and this car does a fantastic job at protecting the paint which is a really really important factor especially doing European road trips lots and lots of miles on motorways and in the mountains as well in the south of France there's a lot of rocks and if you've got one chipping up in the front of your car then that's going to be a front bumper respray which can be very very expensive so it, even though it is two and a half thousand pounds and that is again a lot of money it is definitely worth doing to a car like this I suppose any car in general because it is obviously expensive to respray your car so a wrap is definitely up there as one of my priorities on the new cars that I buy, a wrap is important. Maybe I should wrap the new. So to summarize all of these running costs that you might incur on this car, not to mention any sort of repair, brake discs wearing out, there's a lot of wear and tear that can happen to this car, like tires, brake discs, there's obviously the clutch which is um, a massive cost which I haven't really considered about and fingers crossed when I come to sell this car I won't have to replace the clutch. It's actually really really good but withstanding a lot more miles than they used to. When the Gallardo first came out, I think it used to cover about six to 7,000 miles before the clutch went. Now it's around 25,000 miles. So that is actually really, really good for this sort of car. But to summarize, let's quickly rattle through some of the costs that I'm gonna be paying, broken down into every single month. So you guys get an idea on how much this car costs every month to run. So servicing, around 120 pounds. Tires, if you wanna break that down into monthly costs, which I'm not sure whether you can buy tires and pay monthly, um, comes out around 150 pounds. Insurance broken down around 250 to 300 pounds. And now coming down to one of the biggest costs every single month, to put miles on this car and to actually enjoy the exhaust system, the wrap, the whole car, the performance, the handling, everything, and you wanna wear a smile every single day for driving this car, you're gonna to have to put fuel in it. And that costs me around 350 to 400 pounds a month. So overall, this car can range between 850 pounds a month to 1,000 pounds a month, which at the moment, um, I'm kind of rethinking, but <laughs> rethinking buying this car. The Audi R8, obviously a slightly smaller engine, less powered, less expensive car, but also built fundamentally by Audi, kind of like this car but it has got obviously Lamborghini touches on it and it's got the Lamborghini badge. This is built in Italy. Fingers crossed and touch wood this car has been actually a lot more reliable than my Audi R8. It has been an absolute dream to drive over the last three months. I have not stopped smiling when I'm getting in this car. Um, I think over in the south of France it was a lot of fun but then coming back here changing the wrap I'm going to be doing a lot more videos talking about this car has it lived up to my expectations what is the Lamborghini dream and how do I feel now that I've accomplished it but for now that is the end of this running cost video so I hope that you've enjoyed it I hope that you've learned something and I suppose this is one of the first or second informative videos that I've been able to produce on Supercars of London normally it's just me like smiling and giggling like a 12 year old kid um, behind the wheel of something like this. So um, I'm truly grateful to be able to be driving this car. It is my absolute dream. And next month I turn 25, so I've managed to do my Lamborghini dream. So make sure you hit the thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video and you want to see more of these, and maybe I'll do a six month uh, update on the running costs, whether I've incurred any more costs. And make sure that you subscribe if you haven't. Click that red box to subscribe for a lot more supercar content, both in London, here, with the Lamborghini, and myself, and maybe a few other idiots that get in front of the camera as well. But thank you for watching. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for another supercar video and enjoy the Christmas holidays um, because it is a time for chocolate, presents, and turkey. system Jack's GTR has got the full decap manifolds headers back box and everything I always get confused